Hello there, and um, welcome to my temporary residence. This is um, a hotel, but you know what? Um, just because I'm in a hotel doesn't mean I can't review wigs. And honestly, it's important to me because this time I've been sent some pieces by the wig company. Um, and I'm super flattered because like, I'm just like a wee little person in the social media world. I'm not a big deal at all. So the fact that somebody wants to send me some hair to try out, very flattered. And so um, I want to do them justice. They gave me these pieces uh, sometime in the midst of my move and my chaos. And I just never got to, um, I've been wearing this one um, for a while. Uh, I wanted to wear them first. I like to, you know, especially with a company I'm not familiar with and then give my thoughts and just different reasons and whatnot. So I've been wearing for this piece for a while, so I feel ready. I don't have my kids around and um, I wanna get this done and so I can um, help spread the word about these pieces. So, but as the title says, it is the wig company. Now, anyone in the world world, at least a huge portion of us has seen these, you know, wigs, um, uh, reviewed and whatnot and and I me too personally I am um, I've heard the company but they were just small enough to where I was like mm, and then you see how affordable the prices are and you're like mm, I don't know like and so it you know I I was like oh I'll try a piece I'll try a piece and you know it's hard to make the plunge when you're not familiar with the colors you're not familiar with anything so what I did, they asked me to pick out pieces that I would like to review. So I looked through, there was ones I liked, and then I looked at the, that color was already on YouTube reviewed. So I didn't want to do that one. Um, you know, so I went and looked through colors I was curious about, that I felt like that of the particular reviewer didn't show the color well enough, or piece, you know, pieces that I liked as well. So you guys can get a huge variety of, um, you know, reviews in your arsenal to help you make decisions. Um, I mean, that's not why I do reviews, but if someone's gonna send me wigs, like I want to do them justice and help them out the best I can. So that's why I chose different colors that I had not yet seen reviewed on YouTube. So anyways, this one, so if I, I've already opened them all out of the box. Um, if you want what their boxes look like, they look like this. Yes, they are, um, not as bougie and fancy as you know some of the other higher end brands but at the end of the day like who cares like if it saves you money that's what i care about. i don't care if you ship a wig to me and a ziploc bag you know i if that saves me money i don't need a big fancy box but that's just me personally i hang my wigs up on a hanger i've got like three hanging on the tv right now one in the closet you know like i don't need a big fancy box if it adds like $50 for the shipping and the quality and everything. So this is what it looks like. Um, it still comes with like tissue paper in it and is bobby pinned to the side like all the other wigs, in case you're curious. But this one is called Rock Me. Oh gosh, sorry. And the color is OM4-33A. So, I got this color. I um, it reminded me. It was I, I'm looking into the darker pieces. I want to feel like a dark horse these days, and so um, this one really excited me. I saw like a review of this on a shorter piece, and it said it had ombre. And who doesn't love a good ombre? You and I like this. Um, if you guys saw how ghetto rigged I have my review, like my setup right now, because my wig stand. I'm, I'm pretty sure my kids broke. So if this ends up toppling over, I'll try and edit it out. It might just stick in there for funsies. Um, so yeah, if it looks kind of weird, I did the best I could. But I like that it shows the ombre effect. Now I got this, it reminded me of John Renault's Midnight Coco. And I do want to try that. I don't have that piece yet, but I do want to try it in human hair and in synthetic. Um, and so this looked pretty similar and um, I've been wearing it a lot. And um, so I, let me get down. I'm gonna include a video of what this looked like when I first got it. Um, I had to play around with the hairline. Let me see if I can do this without knocking my phone over. Um, I had to, I plucked the hairline, messed around with that. 
that's how you make it not look super fake it just you could not see the hairline the scalp appearance at all and that made it look way you know like you can't do that and then i had plucked hairs here now the one thing up close you know you can see that um i would probably even do like a few right, right there but um it's not even coming out so and i did cut the lace and i sometimes what i do is i take some of my own hair i had just thrown in the sun i'm about to go um do some work and i actually swapped boys i was like oh i don't have my kids let me do a wig review so i just threw this on but a lot of times i was incorporating my hair into this uh so i wanted you to see the changes um and this i have a tiny head my head is 21 inches so um it is it can be challenging to find ways that fit this one i have tightened as much as i could and just the way and this is not for everyone like if you've been wearing wigs for a while you will know you know you get an idea of of um how things fit it's, it's different like i have genre wigs that fit me really big some fit me really small i've had two minas and one fit me really big and one fit me perfect it really just depends and so just because i cannot get like this lace easily flip like you see how it doesn't rest on my head um it's not like that with everyone but what I do is I just, I make sure that I have hair that lays right there. And usually, I mean, you can just tuck that behind your ears and, you know, you just, just like if you had regular hair, you, you do a mirror check and make sure you don't look like a frazzled mess. You know, I just, I just get in the habit of when I wear this to do that, just to make sure it's laid flat and then you can't even see. Ooh. And then, um, you can't even see well now everything's shrunk there you go uh you can't even see that and yes up close someone might wonder but you know i've been wearing this to work a lot a lot of my yeah, i've been wearing this to my um one of my jobs uh i've been wearing it like on dates uh wearing it when we move like i've been wearing it a lot and so um i can vouch for this piece so this piece is big it'll fit a large head and medium and it it is loose on my head it doesn't feel flush but it hasn't i have a weight grip underneath and it hasn't been an issue where i like be head banging in this absolutely not would i be head banging ever absolutely not but um i'm just saying that this fits a little looser I me mean, i got it as tight as i could but um there is some some pull right there sorry there's a knot and that but nonetheless this wig i want to say is like under 200 dollars. all so the idea of this brand is she wanted to make wigs affordable not everyone can afford an expensive human hair piece or even an expensive synthetic piece it's just not always in the cards so she went and made this line to help make pieces more affordable. And you can also go to her website, The Wig Company. You, they This is their brand, Statement Style. But you can go to their website and order other pieces by like uh, John and John and Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch and Gabor, that I know for sure. So um, I can add a link to her website below. So um, yeah, you do wanna check her out. But this these fibers, they feel no less quality than, um, and, you know any like other brands it's not this is not heat defiant i've worn this down i've worn this up she's been a great workhorse wig and i'm starting a new um contract position um and so i'm going to wear this a lot i might try and find another one to help swap it out with but um i do i, I do love it she feels great up she doesn't get weighed down the density is light. She's really easy to finger comb and brush through and like she feels like not like the most healthiest perfect hair but you know she feels really good. The fibers you know as much as I've worn her she doesn't feel gross and nasty like I mean I'm gonna say it, I've had John Renault fibers not be this great as long as I've been wearing her. So just because something is expensive does not mean that something that is cheap is garbage. And if you saw like my, my Amazon wig review, you would see I was pleasantly surprised with those. So 
you this is a, a beautiful I would get this piece again now I mean you can always use glue to put the lace down that's the only issue I had the knot like anyone who's new to wigs you're gonna be like oh dear lord those knots are hideous but you are you're not used to you think that everyone can notice those if you were face to face with people like this they will probably notice but at the end of the day most people don't care they're not looking at your hair you are looking at your hair and so you just have to keep that in mind as you go about your day like and if someone asks like, i did have someone ask me how i got this hair to be so shiny which i was shocked because i was like i didn't think this hair was shiny at all like i have blondes you know since like blondes look really shiny but i i don't think this is shiny at all so I, it was just funny but she didn't think it was a wig i told her and she's like oh i would have never guessed like it makes people feel awkward it makes them feel more awkward probably when you tell them it's a wig because they're like oh like they they are thrown off and and like i said this wig i, I know is under 200 dollars um and uh it looks fantastic it looks fantastic and people don't think it's a wig um if they get up to you, like if they're talking, like think about it. In real life, when you're talking to someone, now us as wig wearers, we are looking at someone's head hairline all the time. We're like, hmm, you know, but in real life, people are looking at your face, okay? And if you, whatever business you're discussing, they might notice your hairline, but then they're gonna go about their day. So just remember, it it is not, it is very anxiety inducing when you first start wearing wigs. But at the end of the day, you realize that most people don't care. Um, I like, I'm finding out men don't care about wigs. Like they just, they don't care. It's fun. You know, it just, so you got to get past that anxiety. It's either people look at your thin, balding, crappy hair, or they look at your hair and they think it looks great or they wonder if it's wig, but, and who cares? Either way, they're going to be looking. So you got to pick one, thin, crappy hair or wig. It's choice is yours. So anyways, I, after I had played with this hairline, I'm happy with it. Now this is just a, um, you cannot part this over here. It is just a left sided mono part. It's got a lace front. It is a wefted cap. Um, it has the, here, let me just take it off you. Uh, it does not have, um, so it has the velvet or I don't want to say, it's not velvet. If I've said velvet before, I'm mistaken. It's not velvet. It is like the mole skin, the soft mole skin. Um, you see how I have this like all the way in the middle. Um, and what's cool is this even has like, let's say you don't keep the box. I don't. And then you want to sell it later on. You want to list the color it even has a little tag with the color on it, which is really cool. This one does not have an extended nape. It just is the felt felt nape. Why can't, why did I say velvet? It's felt. Um, but this this will fit a large head, a medium head. Here is what the uh, parting looks like. Um, you can see where I had plucked it more just to make it look more realistic. Um, but yeah, it is like all of the other wigs, but wig brands just but just more affordable. So you just put that on, and you know, actually, I think I'm gonna wear this wig after work instead of. My other one, I think all my patients there had seen me with dark hair, so. Um, yeah, I just do that and it's really not a big deal. It didn't trigger anything. <sighs> now let's talk about this ombre color. So, let's check sure so it's right. So, there is OM4-33A. So the ombre, so this is a four. This is darn near black, ladies. Um, so if you're not used to black hair, like any of, you know, like me, I have a lighter brown hair. To me, this is like almost black. If you black hair, you're gonna be like, oh, that's not gonna be black. But I'm just saying, it is a four, which is pretty darn close to one, which is almost black. And then it ombres and down to this 33A, which is a, a auburn color. Like, just look at that. Like, that is just classy. It's natural, but then it just has this extra touch to it. And it just makes it a little more than just one color, you know? And so, cause if you go around people everywhere, their hair is at different lengths of when they had it colored and ombre and everything. And so this just adds to that effect and this, you know, makes it look more natural. So this is, she's like right above my boobs. So 
This is equivalent to, I'm gonna say, it's not as long as Raquel Welch's Miles of Style. Um, that one I think is a little bit like to there. Uh, like Rachel maybe, do I wanna know Rachel? Maybe a little longer. Um, I, I, I equate these with this wave pattern to Miles of Style, but it's just shorter. Uh, yeah, this is hair off 360. I can still reach her pretty bad. You see that ombre, the pretty ombre effect? So yeah, she's, she's long and gorgeous, but not like too long, like Ariana, John Reno's Ariana, or uh, Sarah's a long one. She might actually be the length of Sarah, John Reno's Sarah. Uh, yeah, you could just probably look those up. Easy ear tuck, the density's perfect. I put this up all the time, and I have like a hair, you know, bandana or something wrapped around it. So I just absolutely love her. If you have blue eyes, it makes it pop. Every time I wear this, everyone's like, oh, your blue eyes pop. So if you are into blue eyes popping, dark is the way to go, not blonde all the time. But yeah, I love her. Um, it will not be rehoming this one. She's gonna stay. Um, I just love her. So yeah, I will add a link below. And even with the fact that the lace does not rest on my head perfectly, sometimes you just can't do that. I have an Envy Maya that I can't get the lace to lay perfectly. So. Um, I haven't had my professional, you know, help me with that. And we just was like, it's just not in the cards. It's just the way your head's shaped. So, you know, even with that, I still love this piece. I'm not, you know, going to rehome her at all. So yeah, I'm keeping her. I love her. I recommend this piece. I, there's other colors that I would definitely try this piece in. Um, let's see. I don't have anything else to say, um, but look forward. I have a few more pieces from this company that I will definitely be showing you guys and giving my opinions okay so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Oops.